we're down in Morahable for one evening for a little mini staycation. Yeah, cheeky little overnight. We've not been away for quite a while. Last time was Lanzarote in December. It's which almost is six a, months ago. It's a long time for us because we like to travel. So. Um, so we've booked a night at this hotel. I can't remember what it's called. It's called Lemon and Soul it's Hotel. It's got an unusual name. <laughs> we have to read the Cactus sign. Garden. Lemon and Soul Cactus Garden. I'll put the uh, link in the description. We got a really good deal for this place on Expedia. Mm. Um, just for one night, so um, yeah, a little vlog from Mora Hable. We've already been into Morahable, haven't we, for a little walk this afternoon. We've had a pretty chilled afternoon since checking in here. Um, from what we've seen so far, it's really quiet. Yeah, it's quieter than I was expecting it to be, actually, because down here is far more popular with uh, a lot of German tourists, and we know that German tourists have been coming back now for a couple of weeks. Um, but maybe it'll be busier this evening, let's see. Yeah, the lady on reception said that they've had a mixture of Spanish, German and a few UK tourists, so there must be a few that have made their way here, but it does still feel pretty quiet, so we thought we'd take the camera out this evening, we're going to head out into the old town now and go and find somewhere to have a drink, so we'll see what it's like as uh, it's getting towards evening time, I think it's just after six. Time for a drinky booze. So we've noticed that there's sort of a mixture, a lot of the shops are closed still but there's also a lot that are open it's probably 50 50 would yeah, you say, say. I mean, it's still a little on the early side but yeah you can as you can see it's very quiet Definitely feels a bit busier down in Old Town. Quite a lot of these bars have got people sat outside, so we're going to pick one and enjoy a drink. We found a nice little spot here, haven't we? We have, lovely, right by the sea, and we found out why earlier on it was so quiet everywhere because everybody basically is on the beach. <laughs> Even now, it's still quite warm actually. It's a lovely day actually today. It's probably the first day in a while that it hasn't been windy, so and it's a weekend, so everybody seems to have flocked to the beach. Cheers, we've got a bit of fizz on the go, a bit of fruit. Cheers. Well, we just enjoyed a really lovely bottle of Carva. Just sat and relaxed for the best part of an hour. It's like being on holiday. It's it just, is, isn't it? It's, it's really nice. It's a nice chilled out atmosphere right down by the beach, by the sea. Perfect weather, just amazing. The sun is starting to set. I think it, it's not been set until nearly nine o'clock at mm. night lately, so um, nice long days. Um, we were originally going to have a meal out in the old town this evening, um, but when we booked the hotel that we're staying at, there was such a good deal, I presume because they've only just opened it, the hotel reopened yesterday. Mm. Um, so we got a deal for half board for £41, that was in total for both of us. So that included dinner and breakfast tomorrow, so it was too good of a deal really to pass up, wasn't it? Well, so. the other thing is, I'm an absolute buffet fiend. I love a buffet. I mean, one of the things that I enjoy, this is going to sound really sad, but one of the things I enjoy most about going to Las Vegas, because I don't gamble, is the buffets. So um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to a buffet tonight. The, the reviews of the hotel were all excellent, but particularly the food looked really good, mm -hmm. so... It's not something that we'd normally do. We'd normally come out and try and obviously support the local businesses, but at the same time, the hotel employs local people. So the fact that they've That's reopened the is, uh, is good. They seem to be happy to be back at work. So um, we're gonna have dinner at the hotel tonight and we're gonna make a point of coming back in tomorrow, have late tomorrow for lunch. Yeah. And we're gonna pick somewhere nice um, to come go for lunch after we've been to Cafetti in the morning and that, that's really the main purpose of 
this overnight trip, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, which also means we're not going to have too much to drink tonight because we've fallen foul of that before and I don't want to hang over on the first time I ever experienced confetti. <laughs> No, it's it's still a reason. It's I think it's probably about a, a fifty minute drive, an hour's drive, even from Marhable, because the the road there is um, it's more of a track, isn't it? So we're going to have to go slow. But what we're going to do is probably include Cafetti in a separate vlog. Um, so we're going to cover off this evening. We're going to do a little bit of a review of the hotel in this video, and then the next one we're going to cover our experience of Cafetti separately. So two vlogs for the price of one, hopefully. First time I've heard of it. <laughs> Right, we're going to walk back to the hotel and go and enjoy some dinner. Hail the return of the buffet, that's all I can say. It's actually reasonably busy, isn't it, in here? They've just opened up this section of the restaurant. The, the other section is completely full. Yeah. And we couldn't get a table in that side. Got a bit of salad to start, but um, we'll be interested to see what's on offer in the hot food. We've seen paella from a distance. Yeah, there's um, a good selection of salads. Uh, we've already clocked the desserts, and they look pretty good. Um, and then there's a whole section of hot stuff as well. Um, so yeah, there's, there's no sort of time limit, so we're just going to take our time, enjoy the food. Live, yeah, like and, and it, it, it does smell really good, I must admit. You've tasted it actually because you went up before yeah. me. So. I mean, it's, it's not out of this world, but it's decent. And there's not a huge choice, but it's enough. We're back on our balcony. Yes. Hopefully, you can see the lighthouse behind us. Uh, we were very lucky that they gave us a room with a view. We've noticed in the hotel that one side has a view and the other doesn't. So I guess it's potluck. But we're on the lucky side. <laughs> uh, we just booked the cheapest room, so we had no idea what we were going to get. But I suppose because the hotel only reopened yesterday, um, well, our impression was that there wouldn't be many people here. But having just been down to dinner, Busier than it, we were it was yeah. very busy. So um, there's obviously quite a few package holidays that were booked in advance that meant that they could reopen, which was good. Um, we should probably briefly talk about the buffet because I guess people will want to know about that. Yeah, it's it's not the best buffet I've ever been to, but it was perfectly adequate considering what we paid, which was next to nothing. Yeah. It did run out of stuff quite easily. Uh, they were topping it up, but not very quickly. I, I think my impression would be it's absolutely fine for a night or two, but if it's the sort of thing that you're going to come and do for you know a week or two, you'd get bored pretty quickly yeah, if I, they didn't change up the menu. Options. One night would be enough for me, and if you're vegetarian, you've got yeah, no chance. There, there, well, there was nothing <laughs> other than the vegetables. There was no main courses at all. What was good to see in terms of the practicality of how it worked, you just had to wear a mask to go up. Everything else would be sort of as it would have been pre-pandemic, I suppose. Yeah. So, um, you know, it wasn't a case of everything was pre-served. Uh, you know, you could help yourself to whatever you wanted and you could go back up as many times as you wanted. Yeah. Which for me is part of the buffet experience. I, you know, I know when they first was starting to reopen the buffets in Vegas, they were, people were serving you, so you're having to point out things. Obviously part of a buffet is, you, well for me, is I want to be able to try little bits of everything. Yeah. So. And that was the, the same here in the Canaries, part of their original regulations last summer was that everything had to be pre-plated in individual portions. That's clearly gone by the wayside, it is now a free-for-all, you can serve yourself. Um, you just got to wear a mask when you go up and there's sort of um, hand gel stations dotted around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those staff were pretty good. It was topped up, but there was a bit of a wait when things ran yeah, out. Yeah, and there wasn't a huge choice. There was, yeah. you know, three or four main courses really to choose from. But as we say, in fairness, they only reopened yesterday, so yeah. So we don't know. We don't know what the situation normally is. It might. It might usually be better than that. 
Yeah, um, so we're going to enjoy this drink now. We are going to give you um, a little bit of a brief room tour. We'll do that in the morning once we've slept and then we can let you know what our thoughts are on the room. Um, and then we've got breakfast to fill you in on as well. Um, so we'll say goodnight for now, but stay tuned because we're going to put some bits in straight away um, to, to follow on from this. And then the next video um, will be from Cafetti. Cheers. Cheers. So this is our room 421. Um, I think I did say yesterday we just booked the cheapest room so I'm not sure whether we've ended up with a slightly larger one but it's got this sort of sitting room area when you come in. Um, there's a wardrobe in here. There's a few hangers but not many. Uh, there's a safe the other side. Now the weird thing is we noticed in the write-up is that you have to pay for the safe, which is a bit unusual. It's €2.50 Euros 50 per day, so that could add to it quite a lot if you're staying for a week or two. Uh, bathroom's really clean, there's a nice big shower. Uh, we had plenty of towels and then you've got a decent sized uh, vanity unit with me in it. <laughs> and then there's this sort of hallway area and then you've got your bedroom and um, so there's some nice artwork on the wall there of confetti which is where we're heading to today and you've got a full length mirror on this wall here and you've got luggage rack there's a little fridge um, which is empty so you can put your own stuff in there tv and then this is the little balcony with the nice view that we had Oh yeah, comfortable stay, good night's sleep. Yeah, I was, I was a little warm, uh, but other than that, very good. I think there is aircon in the room. out we thought we'd come and just do a few little videos just to show you the hotel because I mean we only stayed here for one night we didn't really get to use the facilities so uh, I think if we came back we certainly would this roof terrace is amazing yeah much much better than I was expecting actually I mean at the moment the rooftop bar up here is closed and the jacuzzi is closed but I'm sure in not too long into the distance they'll be back open again but there's loads of sun loungers deck chairs seated areas and a a great view yeah the view is amazing um the lady on the front desk was she the manager yeah patricia she was very friendly and wanted any feedback about improvements so i did mention that maybe more vegetarian options at dinner would be good and she was very attentive and very pleased to have some feedback so that was good um, but yeah, I'd say overall our experience has been really good. Obviously it was an absolute bargain, which is why we did the half board option. We wouldn't normally do that, would we, with hotels? We'd no. normally just do room, room only. Um, but it was £41 and that included dinner and breakfast. We mentioned on the dinner, I think, last night when we were at the buffet, there were a few improvements that we suggested. Um, it's probably like most hotels, I would guess, if you're here for a week or two, 
you're probably going to get bored of the food after a few days. That's just being realistic. Yeah, and I, I think for me as well, part of a holiday is going out and experiencing different restaurants and bars each evening. So yeah, I think if we'd have been spending longer here, we wouldn't have taken the half board option, but it was a no brainer for the, for the price yeah, for one night. And there are, you know, so many excellent restaurants on the island, particularly down here in Morahable. Um, we're off to Cafetti now, which we're going to show in a separate video, actually. So we'll put the link up here somewhere for the next one. Um, it'll probably, we'll need a couple of days just to edit that and put that up. Um, but we're going to come back to Morahable on that second vlog for lunch so that we can actually show you one of the restaurants here. Um, we're not sure what's going to be open. It's a Sunday, um, but we've got two or three that we're going to choose from. And it's also um, the Canarian Day. It is, yeah. It's an official bank holiday, even though it's a Sunday today. So um, it would be nice to go to Cafetti then. Um, but yeah, overall, really good experience at the hotel. We had a nice um, bottle of carver as well um, down in the old town last night. So thanks for watching um, and join us for the next vlog where we're finally going to be going to Cafetti Beach. See you next time. Bye.